Well, hey guys, how's it going? I figured I'd show you guys uh, Sniffy's final resting place. I just got one of these little white candles and I wrote her name on it. And let that burn till it burns out. Lit that last night for... And it was foggy last night. And I looked out here about maybe 3 or 4 a.m. And the whole yard was lit up by this one little candle. It was kind of cool. So I figured I'd just do another update. Uh, I'm going to take another walk out here in the woods. So let me just get out there. All right, well, we're almost out there. Like I said last time I did this, I think I said I would uh, maybe make this a series. Like call this like woods flapping or something. Like, you know, old 64 goat. Because he does his flaps in the shop and on a swing or whatever. And me personally, I think best when I'm moving. I can't be sitting still. Because I just lose my train of thought a lot. So I tend to be able to speak better when I'm moving. So... Well, I'm feeling a lot better today. You know, yesterday I was pretty broken up, but I'm feeling a heck of a lot better today. I guess I got some good night's sleep last night. You know, I hadn't been sleeping that well because I was worried about Sniffy. And, you know, the anxiety from, you know, her not being well and what was going to happen yesterday was kind of getting to me. But that's all gone now. So that's a good thing. And I went to work yesterday. I'm just going to switch hands here. And I went, went to work yesterday, and there's this regular lady that comes in all the time. She usually, she usually comes in, like, at the end of the day to talk to us because, like, she doesn't have any family. She lives by herself with her dog and everything. She's got horses. <clears throat> and she's kind of one of these spiritual people, kind of like I am. And I was telling her about the cat and everything, what happened. And I showed her a picture of her, the last good picture I took of her. And well, she took one look at her and she said, oh, she's not done yet. She's, she'll be back at some point in your life. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That picture does not look like a picture of a cat that's done. And I'll see if I can like post it in this video just so you can see. And this picture was taken, like, two weeks ago, you know. She was kind of sick at that point, too, but she, in her face, she didn't look like she was even close to being done yet. Even yesterday, in the last day of her, of her life, she didn't look like that. So, anyway, you can see they've done some more um, work out here. And I know you, like, some of you people out there, you might think, oh, there's, you know, this stuff is, like, woo-woo, you know, there's no reincarnation or anything. You know, I I don't know either way. It, it, there could be. There could not be. There's really no way for us to know. But, you know, I believe it, you know. I believe that animals, just like people, they have souls. And, you know, she, if... If anything, if any cat could come back to me at some point, she she would because she never wanted to leave my side. So, you know, I, I if knowing her, I know if there's if reincarnation is real, she'll be right back here in no time. And I've heard stories like people they'll lose a pet, and it's like the call goes out to the cat collective. Like like if you ever watch Star Trek, the Borg. Like the cut the board collective and they say send us another cat so so they, they you know you, another cat will come and you know i mean we still have tiny she's kind of looking at me and i see like the, the question in her eyes like you know where's sniffy you know and she reacts to her name like she knows that sniffy was the boss and if i just mention her name she freaking she's like takes off running she thinks she's around because Sniffy ruled that house with an iron paw so I, I think she's I think Tiny will adjust well to her new uh, queendom as it is 
Yeah, I don't know if these uh, wood chips were here last time. Or they, I think they flattened them out. But they're really doing a lot of work, good work out here. Here's another graveyard. <clears throat> uh, the other thing that happened yesterday was our microwave decided to die, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Uh, you just you put the food in and hit it, and it would just make a loud humming noise, and it wouldn't heat the food. So I was like, oh, crap. I think maybe the magnetron got shorted out. Something It sounded like something was shorted out, shorted out in it. And, I mean, I fixed that microwave once before. Like, one of the door switches went bad. So I took it apart and replaced it, and it worked good for another few years. But it's 10 years old, and, the, you know, they don't make microwaves like that anymore. I mean... They don't, what I should say is they don't make microwaves like they did in the 80s anymore. I mean, that microwave is from 2012. And it didn't just didn't last as long as our original microwave, which is actually still good. I just retired it. So, went out and got a new microwave yesterday. Cost me like 130 something dollars. It was a Panasonic. Seems pretty decent. So... Yep, we got a new microwave. Let's see if that lasts 10 years, who knows. That original microwave was a Montgomery Wards. We got that in 1986. And that lasted all the way up. And the only reason I retired it was that it had like a rusty spot inside the oven. But other than that, it still worked just fine. I could uh, go up in the garage and bring it down and you still use it. And it, it never broke down on us. I remember it, it only broke down once. It broke down back like a year after we got it. And that was just due to a defective keypad. The guy came and replaced the keypad. And it was all good. So it's a digital, digital microwave just from the 1986. And it was our first microwave. Now we're on our third. So... That tells you something about the quality of microwaves these days. And see, we got a pirate ship here. A couple of pirate ships. So there's the park over there. <clears throat> uh, what else should I talk about? I think I've covered pretty much everything. There's a new bed frame over there. There was a like a bathroom set up, like. Uh, What's the name of that movie? Uh, you know, the one where the lady gets stabbed in the shower scene? I can't think of it. Like, the Bates Motel movie. Psycho, I think it's called. And some kids came out and, like, smashed a toilet. So I think they're trying to recreate that. So that's cool. Because we always had those stupid kids would come out here and ruin everything. But they have cameras out here now. I have permission to be back here, but nobody else does. Only people that are working on this. Oh, so anyway, man, I'm talking my ass off here. <laughs> I usually, see, like I said, I, I've always been like this. Like, as long as I'm moving, I can I can just talk up a storm. But if I sit still, it's like I, I just can't think of what to say. So I can't sit in front of a camera and just talk because I get, I get distracted. You know, I think I have ADHD. I've never been diagnosed, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I do have it. Because, <clears throat> I'm, you know, my mind is all over the place. There's a main trailer over there where they keep all the props and stuff. So we're just going to walk up to the end here. And I'll probably end this and walk back. I don't even know what time it is, but I know i got to be to work today. Oh, uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Um, I also recently started doing DoorDash. If you, people don't know what DoorDash is, it's a uh, a service where you, it's like an app that you, you can order food. Like, say you want McDonald's. You can just uh, search McDonald's on the app, and somebody will bring you McDonald's. It's really cool. And... <clears throat> Um, you can you can sign up to be a driver for it, so that's what I did. So it kind of makes some extra money. 
when I'm not working. So it's like um, Sunday night I did my first dash, which was an order from uh, Applebee's, just had to deliver it downtown. That was fairly easy. And then Monday, <clears throat> my day off, oh, and I made like eleven dollars, eleven fifty for that for one order. And then Monday, I uh, did another order, and it was a double order from Moe's restaurant, and they, I, it was like two orders from the same restaurant going to two different people. So. I dropped off both those orders in less than 40 minutes and I made like $14.50 which is really cool so I mean I just had to pay a bunch of bills today so on my days off I can do DoorDash and like make a little bit of that money back just I mean if I worked for an hour I'd probably make about $30 using that kind of calculations which I thought was pretty damn good. And everything's all in the app. All you, all you do is you, you uh, it'll send you an order and then you, you hit accept. And then it'll tell you where to go. And it'll give you instructions once you get there on picking it up. And dropping it off, whether they want you to drop it off at their doorstep or hand it to them. And if you drop it off at the doorstep, then you take a picture. And the customer gets that picture, so it's proof that you delivered it. So, I thought that was pretty cool. A little extra easy way to make money. I'm probably going to, I got tomorrow off, I'm probably going to do that again tomorrow. Might even go for two hours this time. Because I've been told that uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are like the busiest days. Because everybody gets paid. And you're like, oh, let's just do DoorDash, you know, let's feed ourselves. So... That will be a cool little thing to do. <clears throat> so anyway, I think I've talked about everything. Oh, and by the way, my birthday is coming up on Saturday. Uh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Birthday is coming up and I have to work on Saturday. And wouldn't you know it, but we're also having a pet adoption clinic that day too so what are the odds I'm gonna go there to work and some little kitten is gonna come right up to me and I'm gonna take it home <laughs> like I think it's really too soon to get another cat right now but I'm yeah I probably won't adopt one unless there's a cat just absolutely head over heels coming up to me like crazy then I know that's a sign that they want to come home with me so who knows the cat, the cat collective might have already picked a cat for me. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk back and uh, call it a day. I, I definitely feel a whole lot better today. I mean, when when I lost Georgie, cat, you guys might remember, I was a whole other wreck then because that that was a lot harder. Because she didn't go as peacefully as Sniffy went. And that's that's what really hurt. Was her going like that. So I'm just glad that Sniffy just went to sleep. Real peaceful. We, we put her on a little cat bed. And she just kind of went to sleep. And we were stroking her head. And she just she went real fast. And that was it. So I'm just really thankful for the vet and for the people there. And they even gave me a little uh, paw print, like a little, um, like a clay paw print that you put the cat's paw into. And that was free of charge. And they didn't, didn't even make us pay on that day. They're going to send us a bill later, you know, which is also, also nice. And the vet helped carry the box out to the car with her body in it. So. They, they really did a great job. And I said to her, I was like, this must be the hardest part of your job. She says, you know, n yes and no. 
because she has seen relatives and friends die of cancer or whatever and it's not pretty and the fact that we let her go with her dignity still intact was really the best way to do it you know so I think you know that's why I'm I'm at peace with it so anyway I guess I'm going to stop here because I've probably flapped your guys' ears off and um, yeah this is really not like me you know I don't I don't do flaps like this and I, do, I think this is my first actual one so well maybe my second actual one I know I did a video years ago of I came out here and talked about growing up in the in the 80s that was probably about 2010 that I did that that was pretty cool too <clears throat> So, yeah, I know I've said this like four times already, but I'm going to end the video here. And I might I might do this weekly. You know, I'll do a weekly woods flap if I have anything new to talk about. And we'll kind of go from there. So, thank you guys for sticking around if you stuck around this long. And I will see you on another video sometime soon. Take care.